Marriage is a two part job. Hey, Barry. Okay. Well, I was just saying how you interact with money is also very important because, um, like he said, and I agree with him about how one person making more or the other or knowing each other's financial capabilities, so how much you have and how much you don't have, but also how you interact with money. Is one person stingy and is the other person generous? Like, these things actually matter. They may seem very minute, mm. but for one person, some Thing might be too expensive but for the other person it's not too bad and things like that can really affect how you save how you plan for the future um and even when you now start having children and planning for the kids futures as well you may have one person who's wanting to go squander money in a club or something while the other partner is trying to save for the child's university or things like that oh, okay. so, yeah. Then another thing that you said now that I see reasons, whereas you one partner is trying to save up for something better for a good, while the other partner is just wanting to spend money without consequences. You are just there to just okay. There's money now. Let us just buy this. Let us do this. Let us do that. You plan, plan towards the greater good. Because it's not every time the finances will always come that way. Mm. It's coming. You have to save for the rainy day. Mm. 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 Now, exactly. you have to understand that the way women look at children is different from the way men look at children. Yeah. Woman would, a woman would carry her last Use it to send a child abroad and then get up the next year and be looking for what to sell and running from pillar to post because you want to put that child abroad. A guy, on the other hand, would most likely have thought this abroad, I want my child, I have it and I hope with financial consequences. But let me tell you, if you ever have a child, best stay abroad, don't have a view of how it is. Only if you have expensive school fees and feeding, um, spend a lot of money, you also have to either visit them or bring them home expensive. So, it okay, guys, they can't hear me. Uh, God bless. So, for instance, the way a woman thinks generally is different from the way a man thinks. A woman is very impulsive. Most women are. Most women who hear is... Sorry, sorry, my, my audio is bad because uh, I needed them to mute their mics. So, most women are very impulsive. A child can come and cry. And my, no children are very manipulative. Mommy, I want to go to school abroad. I want to go to school abroad. I don't want to school in this Nigeria. I want to school... Now, so the woman go carry Pekin, carry her last money, send them go abroad, believing in that God's the God will provide, God will provide. Do you know what I mean? Parents have had have brought their children back home from abroad because they could not cope. Me, I don't go send my Pekin go the abroad in the first place. If I if I cannot show for a, I cannot have a five year projection. Say so, okay, this how what, what this child is going to eat. Now there are some children. My mom was very lucky with my two younger sisters that schooled abroad. The moment they got abroad, first of all, they went abroad on half scholarship. The moment they got abroad, they turned to full scholarship. My younger sister went to medical school on state-funded scholarship. Her scholarship was so good that it even covered accommodation and bus. So what my mother was spending was limited, just... Uh, money to visit, uh, I need laptop, because if you're on scholarship, they're not going to buy you laptop. You understand? But you cannot compare it to paying school fees, paying accommodation. You understand? Then when they had exams, so they had some expensive exams they had to sit for, my mom would have to send them money for that. I don't know if I'm making sense to you. But some people, let me let me warn all of you. Nobody every picking they goes abroad school. You have five children. 
you want to send the five abroad. Some of them no even need school. It's just like they no go school. It will be like, say, you wicked. No be every picking needs school. Then, if you have a child that is not an academic genius or has unnecessary passion for academics, let them go and do business admin. Let them do sociology. Make it be said they get degree. No push them, go medical school. I know someone, let me tell you a story. I have a friend whose father spent $120,000 sending him to pilot school. He did the pilot for three years. Now he's doing business. He, they buy, they sell. He's very wealthy, but my problem is you didn't need to go and spend $120,000 to become this pilot when your father could have given you this $120,000 and you have tripled it by now in business. He just bought a Range Rover a month ago. Latest Range Rover. So it's not like he quit flying because he's lazy. No. He quit flying because he wanted to do business. So why are they sending you? Okay, are they sending you to school with $120,000 so that if the plane has a problem in the air, you can go and join them in the cockpit and assist the pilots? Is that what he's, why he spent $120,000? So it's not every child that now also teach your children responsibility. Now, hey, let me warn couples, fathers, you need to be careful. Eh? Children naturally, by natural default, take care of their mothers. So, so as a father, you have to take care of yourself because your children, no matter... You, a father and a mother in a relationship, the father spends 80% of the money, the mother spends 20%. When the children grow up, they will take care of their mother 80% and their father 20%. So the man would have seen men go into depression. They, ah, I miss sending this picking go school. Meanwhile, now in Mama, they give the money. It's natural. Children bond with their mothers easier than they bond with their, their fathers. So, my dear father, take care of yourself. If you have five children, not all of them need to go to Harvard. Not all of them need to go to Yale, unless you be your dollar. Encourage your children to pay their own bills. Me, as you they see me, more useless go. You get admission abroad. You go show me how you want, what thing you go pay inside China. Rent you go work they pay, or you want me from Nigeria to the work they send you the money. Is it that you go and you put yourself on a scholarship? Or you are able to work and join in the billing. All right. So, so much the mothers that, don't bond with them. So what happens to all the father's investment? How do you expect the father to feel after he has put in all his money? And then the mother just put in emotions. But you see, you are not paying your mother back with emotions. You are paying her back with money. Do you understand? Your father put in money. Give him money. Your mother put in emotions. Give her emotions. Instead, you will give me money to your... I, I know someone whose father sent him to school. But when it was time to buy a car, he bought a car for his mother. <laughs> Let me hear you, Eberi. Go ahead. So there was something you just mentioned now that makes me even think of adding to your list. And that is discussing the number of children you want to have as well. So... Is yeah. Own. Topic number nine, children. You yes, children. Finances is broad. Only finance is one topic. Children, that topic. How many children? Where do you want to educate your children? What do you see in your children? As in, how is a very important topic? God bless you, Iberia. I don't have children. Number nine. Continue. I'm listening to you. So, like... For me, the maximum I would probably have is two children. And if I have just one, I'm honestly very good with one, right? And that's because I'm thinking about my financial capabilities as well. Like how much can I do for the child? So when you mention Harvard and things like this, there's one thing I think about. I'm not going to force my child to do anything that I want, right, in terms of education. But I want to be able able to have the resources to provide for whatever the child wants so if my child comes in the future and says he wants to go to harvard i will be i will feel very bad if i cannot afford to send that child to harvard so i want to be able to afford it if he wants it 
And if he doesn't want it, it's okay. all well and good. Now, now, can you afford to send your child to Harvard? Right now, no. But I'm saving for it. So with my plan, I probably will be able to when he's old enough. Hold on. Imagine you are there. Are people, how old are you? Ah, uh, no, Daddy. Please, I'm not going to say it on this life. On this life, <laughs> I'll message you. <laughs> he's four. He just turned four on Friday. Actually, okay. awesome. So your child will be going to Harvard in about twelve years. Do you, you know there are people who are twelve years older than you and are earning about what you're earning today? So why would you put yourself on unnecessary high jump? Because your child wants to go to Harvard. If I have a child that wants to go to Harvard, I will show them where they collect the scholarship for Harvard. And the good thing is, Unless I the father of my child also somehow thinks in the same way where he also plans for the child's future. So I know for a fact that the that child is probably how much it costs to send somebody to Harvard? It's about seven. Well over. It, it's it's no. It's probably well over. It's like hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm serious. So you are your husband now. If we're earning what you're earning, and your husband is earning twenty percent more than you are earning, you still cannot afford to send your child to Harvard. Are you aware? So you just put yourself under. On the child wants to go there. Get a freaking scholarship. Go and take a student loan. You'll be all right. Why am I going to bend myself double so you can go to Harvard? There's no school. You cannot see school around you. There's no school that's me and you. It's Harvard long, can long. Afford, exactly. think, you see, if your situation, if your financial situation changes, there's nothing wrong with it. But if you are where you are now, I me, I will never as I am like I can say one go have an assignment. Harvard. Well done. I go up and Google where the place is and I go show the fees. They, but you see that if let's now bring it back to the topic because that's a, that's why it's important to have these conversations with somebody you're thinking of getting married to. So that you will know if you people are on the same page with things like this. A lot I've, of men a lot of men put themselves to unnecessary pressure. They go, they start off with something they know they cannot finish. They start it up and it becomes a problem later on in life with them. Some people use their, their life savings to, to go send children to school. At the end of the day, they will now suffer Baby, long but to this says, oh no, you can. There are ways you can get your kids into top school without breaking the bank. <laughs> <laughs> Don't gawk it. You still break, break the you bank. Break that bank. Unless your child is a genius. There are some children. Now, how about they beg them? You don't know. My, yeah. my lawyer's daughter got a Harvard scholarship from the uh, own girls in this leg, Lagos. Mm. The girl did the exam, got the scholarship by herself, went to show her father. The father was looking at her like this. <laughs> now, so the papa she looked. She got a Harvard scholarship from a Lagos secondary school. Full yes, there are some children like that. So, if my picking can tell me, say, in one good that can have, I go show and say, I'm a pick. Now, so that they go have her. Nobody say, no, see. Oh, mean, wait till I go give her a prayer. I'll go look for something. I break my They won't go Harvard. Ferrari won't go Harvard. Uh, no. You'll be all right. We'll all be all right. What happened to Unilag? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How are you at University are of you, uh, uh. Are you not? Are you, are you not doing well? Are you not doing good? Uh, uh. Uh. For me, I just see it as my responsibility. I will not force my child to go to any school. Dear, but if he wants to go my, to the best school in the world, I want to be able to, to afford it. Exactly. Have to and so I, I don't well, want a situation where I'm telling my child that I can't afford it. Mm -hmm. So sorry. Nah, I'm not going to do it. I know. Oh, I, 
Because I have a I know, but I do not want to ever disappoint it. my child. Do you know how heartbreaking it is for a child to want something and then you yeah, I can't I, know, my, my responsibility. Know that, that, no, hello, yeah. my dear sister. There, are entitled there's a family that I know, they went and invest on education. So much money, over 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 two hundred thousand dollars on education of, of three of their children. The man needed an an a, a operation. They could not have money. They didn't have money to do the operation. The man eventually died. The person providing the money. There's some things that you need to tell you what to make me. Let me tell you what to make me send my child to Harvard. Eh? Harvard is three hundred thousand. I have two million. The child will go to Harvard. Okay. The child will. It go makes to sense. Harvard. It makes sense. But I have. Three hundred thousand. The child wants to go to Harvard. The child is not going anywhere. Go and find. You go to Unilever. You should get his money. Should get size you. Ah, Baba, I no keep my mama. Now you are I go. I no keep my mama. I was the cheapest of my mother's children to educate. The cheapest. Eh. Yeah. You won't go make I send you go Harvard. Then you go to the Harvard, go to the drink, carry babes on my bill. Ah. My dear sister, I want to ask one question. Did uh, Elon Musk go to Harvard? To be frank, I don't even know what school Elon Musk went to. Hey. But I do think Elon Musk oh, has oh, a, a, a condition that they, they suspect is autistic. And autistic people on the lower end of the spectrum are usually quite intelligent. So, uh -huh. yeah. Jeff Bezos, which school did he go to? He, okay, I don't know actually. I don't know. I was thinking of Mark Zuckerberg. All those people never went to Harvard. I'm not saying my child will go to Harvard. Don't get me wrong. I'm only saying I want to be able to provide for whatever school my child Every wants to go to. Parents want the best for their child, but let's not lie to ourselves. Circumstances change later on in life. Always safe for the rainy day. It is very important because, let me tell you something, your income can change. Yes. Once it changes, once it changes, then you'll be able to actually afford what. Yeah. But if it does not change, be on the safe side. Does All right. Does that make sense? Don't go in the house. Because yeah. Me too, I love Hello, that. that if yeah. I could afford to send my children to Yale, Cambridge, Harvard, Oh, no. dropped out. He dropped out of Harvard. He didn't finish. So we have we have somebody here in the house. Let's hear them. Okay. Um. Good evening. Good morning, good. everybody in the audience. So there are a couple of things that you have mentioned earlier uh, at the beginning of this show, uh, who arose a lot of people' interest. So and as a result of this, uh, I want to contribute my little two cents. Because marriage is a very big institution mm. and it is owned by God. <laughs> so now, all the things you stated from one to nine, I was following them. And there are about two or three of them that I love. Then this madam now mentioned children. Mm. That is a very good factor that we need to look into when we want to align the basic things that you're looking for in your spouse. Because at the end of the day, if you don't have this proper mm. you will see that it's going to bring a, a little argument or more. Because at the end of the day, the women will decide, okay, I want to have more child, even without your consent. Now, when it comes to finances, that, that is where you want to show that the responsibility as a man. And for a woman, they will not want to know anything with you that there is no money in your pocket or there is money in your pocket. They will have that children for you. Now set up. Ah, uh, madam, do you still have that your child control bath with you? 
she will tell you I still have it. And at the end of the day, she will say, ah, the thing fail. Now fail, you fail. My husband, no verse. So now, let's go further to another one that I found interesting on the things that the freeze listed this morning and tonight on my side. You see, um, you have to put the interest of your spouse at heart more than your family. Yeah. Um, that yeah. you enter me. Goosebumps can't come out for my body. Some people don't know that in their marriage. Because the Bible said, you leave your father and, and your, your mother. Chapter 19, verse 9. And that person that you are with, you will not be taking things behind them. Behind them. You will be making call. Crew, 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 crew. Papa, 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 papa. Pa. And that, that person that, that you live with, in, in terms of difficulties, that is the person you will be with. When you are sick, when you are vomiting, when you are rich, when you are not rich, mm. when you are emotional, Emotionally down. Family. You will not call your daddy and mommy that time. Or your husband will be with you. Now, the last one is this same in-laws. You see, Outlaws. Here, Outlaws. this is where compatibility comes in. Do you know why? If you are not compatible with your spouse, every little thing brings problems. Because you see, that union, eh, you could just cut eye for your girlfriend, for your wife, for your partner like this. She already know what you are talking about. When there is argument outside, you will see some women, they will be blaming their husband. That you too, why did you have to do that? Even if your husband is wrong, even if your wife is wrong, why don't you bring them home? and explain it to them systematically. That is where compatibility comes in. So, see, no matter how bad a husband is or a wife is, nothing you go tell their family about them, they, they no go believe you. Because they believe they did not raise a bad child. So this is where the issue of in-law becomes compromised. So, spend time with your in-laws. Go on a party with them. Go on a dinner with them. Look at the kind of family you want to enter into. Before I go come up for stage, Daddy Freeze, that attraction, it matter. Oh, oh. See, 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 see. When you are cutting, hmm? Both of them are called Panachuku Naself. You can't see that front, you see that back, you see this, you see that. When she wear clothes, you will see those things. But your neighbor when wear clothes and is, she's looking gorgeous, you will take one corner eye, look at her. You don't have to wait until she undress before she's attracted to you. You have to look at her, look at him. I am attracted to my man. So, these things is creating a lot of fear in youth mind. Somebody said the statistics from 2007 of divorce till now is 80% that you will never advise anybody to get married. So, people are still enjoying their marriage. And all, all these things that we align some people will even lie so that they can enter inside that marriage with you because they are looking for a benefit. A lot of people yeah. look for benefits these days. What am I going to gain inside this marriage? That is what people look for these days. That's, so that's all these the things we lay down, now you have to put it into practical. That, okay, say the girl I feel married or I don't feel married because a lot of things will happen along the line. 
it could be health issue, it could be finances, it could be religion. And some women, mm, if both couples now, eh, for example, agree that, okay, you be Muslim, they go Muslim, I be Christian, I go, they go my own. But by the time you begin to raise children, will you allow your it wife to protect happen. my parents' home? My mother is Catholic, my father is Muslim. It causes a problem when we go to a state. He got to a state. Yeah. My father said he wants to raise his children according to Islam. And we, they don't they raise us, they come for church. It put a, a very serious strain on my parents' marriage. Oh, you know? So, if she's taking them to Asalatu, are you going to be happy? Because it befits a woman to put the children in the car and take them to church more than you do yourself. Mm. And, you know, it's the, the, the women spend more time with them. So, anything he, she inculcates into their mind is going to stick there. The day she will be talking about birthday, or something comp that is different from your own belief to the children on the phone. She's talking with her friend, though. She's not talking with the kids, though. But at the end of the day, the children will go to their father and say, ah, Daddy, but you said we should not do birthday. But mommy wants to attend her friend's birthday. Hmm. So it, it, it's a whole lot. So let's pay attention to all these things so that at the end of the day, will not be creating fear into people's mind that, ah, marriage is a scam. Marriage is this, marriage is that. So, sister, I want to say something. Let me, yeah. Yeah, the, and it's funny that this topic is on right now because there's a book I read on it called Things I Wish I Knew Before I Got Married. Mm -hmm. And in that book, it actually lists some more things, things like even um, hygiene, chores at home, little things like that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Personal hygiene. I was in a relationship with a woman once. I'm not going to know which one, but y'all can guess if you want. That's your business. She no know. We say when woman use bathroom, she does. She don't for toilet week. Wear her pants. You no know wash. I, I wanted to run mad. Are you? To remember staying outside the bathroom door, saying, Wash that thing. Oh, yeah, wash, wash it. <laughs> because me go suffer for him. You can't smell like male he goat, Obuko. Wash that, wash it. So, even personal hygiene, listen, as a woman, tissue cannot clean you you need water water so in both people to get dirty for body oh. as a woman if you've met a, a woman who cleans properly and a woman who doesn't properly you will know the difference so yeah, yeah, yeah. they shave that's it i've met women who shave who are dirty and women who don't shave who are clean It's how your mother raised you. Your mother should be let me see wash it. Your mother teach you how to wash, not your husband, not your boyfriend. Water. You don't get any me. I don't talk my own. Make they talk they go. That is even the See? men that are usually the dirty ones. As when you've entered women now, it's mostly men that don't like to shower. You know, mm. you find yourself not telling them, have you showered today? As if you're their parents or, or you're their mother. So it's not just women. It's not alien to women. Men are actually more guilty. If you, as a woman now, you're, you're doing faka fiki with your husband. You decide that. Have you, have men actually wondered why a lot of women don't like to go down on them? Sometimes ask yourselves. Hmm. Akika. Oh, 
please, all of you, while you're watching me live, please go to Facebook and buy stars. They brought me food. Please, please, I'm going to explain what food this is. <laughs> Daddy freeze to three. Wait. <laughs> to three. Eh? <laughs> this is beans pottage. Okay. Plantain boat. As it happens. <laughs> Him, but they don't feel them, so they're like goats. <laughs> Filled with fish sauce, green pepper. Wow. Those do not join us inside this room. You know what my father used to say when we were younger? See, <laughs> like, we can a my daddy. Do you understand? As it, so that our mosquitoes will not grow. Will not grow. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Oh, the zoom of puff. This I can bring it close. I'm on this puff. With chocolate and coconut. Oh, it's caramel. Lua, 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 Right now, 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 now. Anyway, uh, madam, you see, concerning this body hygiene that you talk about, uh, 90% of Nigerian girls, ladies in court generally, they have improved. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, they have improved on body hygiene. Things are not the same. The way it now, be. now, sorry guys, I need to advertise for the person that sent me this this boat. Hmm. Oh, my, this, is food, oh. hmm. this is what taste buds cooked in their culinary class today. Share the culinary class. So, ask your mom: Can people still get involved, or where can they download? Where can they buy? Yeah. No, take that one to the pot. Ah, I will come and mix that one later. Small by small, make I taste this beans porridge first. Mm. Ah, this beans porridge. The grace of God, they inside you. Mm. Ah. Yeah, let me meet you. We see everything. It is so nice. Please, guys, you, you, you are making us salivate, you know. You are salivating. <laughs> Current class. Yes, but from next week, all the food courses will be included. Okay, all the food uh, courses. It's too late to join the class now. It was a discounted class and I think it was a bit oversubscribed because so many people just joined. So she said there's no space left. However, all these things are going to be available on her website. What's her website? Help me ask and bring it here. Ah, these beans. I know they chop beans normally. I know be beans person. Sorry, Daddy Freeze. Why the commercial was going on? Mm -hmm. Madam, what I was telling you, you see, the rate of fornication in West Africa is getting higher every day. Now, if you don't bring pekus, they're not going to give you money. If that place no clean, you are not the only option. That is where that statistics is coming from so a lot of people have learned online mm. on how mm. to clean their body because mm. that is the target now hold on hold yes, on sir. yes sir sorry two things first things first um let me give you the whatsapp number if you want to learn how to make these delicacies i forgot to add to the list that we're talking about today
Number 10. Ten. Food. <clears throat> Ability to cook. <clears throat> this, this goes both ways. You know? I've been blessed. Since my mama born me, I don't say plantain boots. They'll be what I call them. Hmm? Plantain boots. Now plantain, but fish sauce, everything, they inside the middle. You want to learn how to make plantain boots? You women no one marry because the boy noodles, they strong you. Let me give you the number. Oh, it's this boat's invention. Because I've never seen it anywhere before. They never cook out for me before. Ah. So it's a taste board's invention that they invent food. This is the number. Send the WhatsApp now. Plus 234-909. Send the WhatsApp message now. Plus 234-909. Eight four double three plus two two three four nine zero nine six four four eight four double three. Can somebody please help me type it out? Come, come and type it. Come and type your mother's number with this my account. It's my other account. In fact, use her account. Use your mother's account. Go to my live and type the number. So, plus two three four nine zero nine six four four eight four double three. You will learn how to cook these lovely beans that I'm eating at three a.m. Ah, mm. post it now. Let me see it so I can pin it. That's my wife's handle and her number. Send a WhatsApp message. Can you see? Um, her account is on my phone. My own account is on her phone. We don't have boundaries. We don't have boundaries. But some people, boundary, they work for them. Me, you know, they work for me. So that's the number. Send her a WhatsApp message. She'll send you the, the, um, the website where you can download and learn how to do this. And she'll also keep you posted for the next time she is cooking. Okay? All right, my darling. Thank you very much. So continue, my brother. Make me round off. Yeah, thank you, Daddy Freeze. And thank you, uh, our listeners, uh, in the comment section. So, you know, uh, like we've said a lot of things, and everybody just has to pick their own. So that's very, very important. And, you know, as we say it every day, it makes us get better, and it gives us confidence and direction. Because if you look back 10 years, 15 years back, you are not going to see all these insightful you know things that we bring online this information you're not going to see them so that is why you see 572 people on here how many people can on their television now and you get that ratio you can't get it anywhere mm -hmm. so let's continue to preach to people this way so that at the end of the day the rate of divorce will come down compatibility is key Compatibility is very, very, very important. If you are not compatible with somebody, it kills the joy by the day. Mm -hmm. and, at the, and at the end of the day, to bond together, to have intimacy, it will be very, very difficult, honestly. So for you to know that, okay, I'm that compatible. In time. Yeah. For you to know that I'm compatible with somebody, be yourself hmm. so that the other person will know that oh okay can i jump into this because if you are pretending don't pretend be yourself so you can't give me one hour out of 24 hours and said you have to respect my boundaries hmm. you understand 
So if she does not like adventure, and you like adventure, it's going to be a problem. If you are, up. Yeah, if, if you are not an introvert, she's an extrovert. It's going to be a problem. Okay, mm -hmm. at the middle of the night, 3 a.m., I'm sleeping. That is when you want to kill demons. You will go to the other inner room. So as you they wake me, I they wake you. We want fire together. Uh -huh. That's the compatibility. Five minute prayer, it's okay for God to hear us. But when you marry prayer warrior and you are not a prayer warrior, it's going to be a problem. So there are a whole lot of things that we have mentioned today, and I just hope that okay. Yes. Uh, Please let me just add this, right? So I think we just we 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 went through this hygiene and cleanliness thing very very swiftly. But I want to just add that when you come when you're talking when you're discussing with whoever you're dating or intending to marry, it's important, eh? For both of you to know what you want to do as house chores don't just assume that the woman likes to cook because not all women love to cook don't just assume that the man likes to cut the grass or something everybody should outline what they want to if possible write it down write it down have timetable for real because it will cause a lot of peace if uncle please sorry it will cause a lot of peace if um the light sorry he's turning the lights off and on Anyway, yeah, discuss your what you want to do as chores. Discuss what you want to discuss your beliefs. Discuss your finances. Discuss um, your fakafiki, liti, your you know how often you want to do it, and things like that. Just make sure you actually have a discussion and have these things set in place. Don't just go with love and think that love is going to help you. Because when it comes to washing plates now, that's when you realize that love does not carry you a long way. Toothpaste, one person will squeeze it. The other person, when it comes to washing toilets, that's when you know that love does not help you. Love so, is blind. Marriage is an eye opener. Mm. All right, guys. I'm, I'm so happy to have this conversation and I'm so happy to have had you guys, especially my brother here. He spoke tons of water all of you guys have been have been fantastic people uh, um and i must say this dedicate yourselves as a couple find time to pray find time to do everything find time to be together find time to discuss have common goals uh understand each other's finances it's not easy for to walk to stay at the time of the night and then make money and then my wife is going to say if you spend it like spend it like this you spend it like that. Where? or my wife money tonight and then she will bring the money then i'll say this i'm going to spend it like this spend it like this. there's all financial women naira bag one million naira hair it does not make sense to me but it makes sense to them and as a man you must respect it because she's working let me tell you something sometimes i look at a car i say i start saving up for this car that car nine they ginger me to work you get things with the ginger you you cannot stop a human being from having what gingers them to work so there's so many um ramifications to this particular conversation but and we're going to continue having them thank you brother shukbo thank you my lovely ebere oki and house of love doctor thank you so much guys you guys are amazing take care and god bless thank you for bringing us up thank you that freeze